Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here, and uh, we're going to do a live commentary video for Total War Attila, and this will be a legendary battle, meaning it's the highest difficulty uh, for the scenario, and uh, this will be my first attempt. I'm going to try the Battle of the Utiz River. Let's read the description. In AD 443, the Eastern Roman Empire entered its tribute to the Huns. In response, Attila invaded the Eastern Empire's Balkan provinces. Roman general Aaron of Thrace was tasked with suppressing the Huns. Moving west out of Marcianople, he engaged the Huns at the Utahs River. And, um, let me give you some, uh, some further explanation for this. Um, uh, there wasn't just one Roman commander. There were actually three Roman commanders. Each of these, uh, Roman commanders had its own Roman army with them. And, uh, they were tasked with, with covering every possible land route leading into, uh, Constantinople. And, um, let's give you some more back history to that. So, yeah, this, this tribute ended in 443, according to this, but um, this battle took place in 447. So, things in 447 were not looking very well for the Romans, because in 447, there was a huge earthquake. This was in January. This huge earthquake put a huge dent in the walls at, at Constantinople. So, they saw this big dent in the hull, and they knew that the Huns were, were rampaging through, through the area. So, uh, they were racing to get their, their walls fixed. And, um, anyways, so, while Attila was moving through the region, he, he took and destroyed no less than, uh, than 70 cities, something like that. And, uh, he was quite successful, so there, there really wasn't a need to take Constantinople. Nevertheless, he, he did get within 20 miles of Constantinople. Um, but it was then that he decided to swing north towards Marcianople, because his supplies were running low. So, uh, he realized at some point that he had to uh, return to, uh, to his own territory so he could resupply. And uh, it was during his return home that this general, Aaron Glis, Aaron Gisglis, um, cut off his, the, like, like, he cut off his escape route, basically. So, he confronted him at this river, the Utsis River. And, uh, it was considered a very bold move by the Romans to, uh, to field their army out in the open like this, because they weren't very successful in the, in the field against the Hunt at this point. But, uh, this, could have only been accomplished had they known that Constantinople was secure. So I think by this time, the walls of Constantinople were fixed already. So let's do this. Legendary. And I'm going to play this on windowed mode, so it might be kind of hard to control. So let's look at, look at the armies here. I do have some infantry. The Roman has four years of cavalry. So once they destroy the cavalry, I think I got this. Um, I'm just going to say... I'll leave my infantry in the front, but really, I don't really need infantry, because in this game, like, if you have, uh, even a few units of, of, like, melee cab, you can run down, like, sword infantry units easily. And I'm also gonna try to take out the general, who in this case would be Aaron Gisglis, which, by the way, he did die in this battle, so that would be historically accurate. I'm kinda liking this, a lot of these historical battles, a lot of the generals did die, so it's pretty cool. And I'll be taking command of Attila's forces. I'm pretty happy because um, the last time I used the Huns in a historical battle, it was the Battle of the Catalonian Plains, and and they made you use the Romans, which is okay, but I'd rather use the Huns. The Utas. Who, 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 who? So we're, we'll be taking on this Eastern Roman uh, force here. So yeah, all I... All I really need to worry about is taking out the cavalry, and then once that's done, I, it's just a matter of methodically destroying the infantry using skirmish, or as a lot of people call it now, uh, kite kiting. It is. By the way, a lot of my information about the hunt um, under Attila comes from this book by Christopher Kelly called "The End of Empire," something like that. I'll put the uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in the description or something. Oh, by the way, I'm using Facecam. Um, it's kind of an experiment. Like, I found out there's this uh, free software I can use. So I'm just going to experiment with this video. And um, if it's successful, maybe I'll do it again. But it's it's no guarantee. I mean, I'm not really nice to look at. So I'm sure people will be pissed off. Okay, problem with this is um, I'm playing on Windows mode. And the cursor keeps uh, disappearing. Let's start the battle. Hmm. The battlefield. 447 AD. Hostilities have been declared. 
between the Huns and the Eastern Roman Empire following the cancellation of an annual tribute of gold. The you better pay us. And his army Screenshot, by the way. The Balkan <laughs> regions that belong to the Eastern Empire. The Roman general Arnigisclus has amassed Oh, Arnigisclus, that's his name. I, I misread it. Attila. He looks so awesome in his armor. The two armies meet in combat. I'm going to bear him in it. The Utus. River. The Utus. All right, I, I, can, I can deal with this. Let's put Bring my infantry together. The Romans approach. Leave no man alive. <laughs> I intend to leave only a few Romans alive. Just enough where they can uh, go back home and write a chronicle about it. Let's go look at my Attila unit, because Attila's freaking awesome in this game. There he is. Oh my gosh. Let her K that action. Print screen. Let her K back. Alright. So let's just move my my infantry away in the front. Let me put my, my melee cav together here. They're the ones I really need to protect, I think. And I, I also need my horse archers too. But for taking out Roman... Uh, Sword scum. It's gonna be my my melee cav. I'm just gonna run them down, and I'm also gonna look for an opportunity to take out the general. Who, by the way, he is out right on the right, right there. I could take him out with a nice charge, I think. But let's let's worry about the cavalry first. Let's put my infantry in the front. I just want to engage this uh, this cavalry. Let's pull my horse archers back over here. I probably should put my spears in a different way. Let's go ahead and absorb this guy's. Alright, he's coming in for a charge. Yes. Do it, my friends. Oh, he stopped charging. He's probably going to keep charging into my sword over here, which I'm going to counterattack with my, my cavalry. And my... Archers need to chill for a second. Oh, not that one. Sorry, my, my cursor keeps disappearing, as I said. Alright, and he's gonna charge my left flank over there. So I think his cavalry is gonna be toast, as I predicted. I got such a crap load of horse archers. I don't know how he could possibly win this fight. Oh, he is so toast. Alright. So, he's got all these dudes. He's Imperial Dromedari, and he threw him away. So he has absolutely no chance now. I'm gonna put my, my cavalry back over here. My, my melee cav. Like, I could even just get rid of my infantry, it wouldn't even matter. He, he has no way of winning this fight. I'm gonna send my, my cavalry out to assassinate the general. And I'm gonna pull my guys out. My, my infantry. Just to pull him out of position more. I could put him up this hill, actually. See that? We'll switch to the heavy shot. That's a that's a great assassination weapon, I think. Now, do I want to use all my horse archers to do it? Why not? It's kind of wasteful, but... I'm the Huns. I, I want to see this mass archery use. It's not killing anybody though. Killed one. He's gonna run his, his spears at my guys. Alright, that's good. Let's, let's turn skirmish on. Skirmish mode. I'm gonna send all my, my guys to take out the general. Actually, yeah, let's take out that general. Not Attila though. Attila's gonna stand back just a little bit. I'm 
I'm gonna get my cab right behind. Alright, he is gonna actually catch up to my guys over here, I think. Or maybe not. Yeah, my guys got clipped a little bit, that's fine. He's gonna try to save his general, looks like. It's gonna be too late, though. I think. This should kill him. But he's got a lot of guys over there, so I need I do need to finish my job here quickly. I should be able to exit out through the spears. There we go. The enemy general is dead. What's we'll just pull my guys out now? The enemy general is dead. <laughs> by our warriors. The morale of his men my guys made out like bandits. This battle is kind of easy. Let's go charge it back to these levies. They're not gonna last long. I can stop kiting my my infantry. And let's use the sword to hold the spear in place. Look at my horse archers just cleaning up over here. Oh, this battle's over, guys. Look at this mass horse archer usage. It's beautiful. Like, I want to cry, but I don't know how to cry. Oh, these guys are so toast. Let's take all my in, my melee cap and smack into that axe unit. They're not going to last. After I kill this uh, spear unit. They are shaking. They're just levies. So I mean, I think that means levy, right? So they shouldn't last too long, especially without our general. Yeah, he's going bye-bye. Let's go and wind up for a charge on these uh, axes. He's going to run away, it looks like. He's gonna stand his ground, brace. Let's see what happens. Smack. Let's do some close up. I love the uh, the graphics on this game. Like when you zoom in really, really far. They shouldn't last too long without their general. Just in case, I'm still gonna swarm it. And look at Attila back here, looking like a freaking boss. I want to know. Um, like find the uh, the costume design concept art for Attila. He looks so freaking awesome here. All right, you know, salivating at the armor. All right, now I could split up my cab. I'll just I'll keep them together for now, and I'll let Attila look at these guys like a boss. All right, now let's get my infantry up here. Just to confuse the situation. He surprisingly killed a lot of my infantry, considering he only had one or two guys going for my infantry. So yeah, as I said earlier, um, Arnegisclus was killed at this battle. But this was a this battle was um, there were heavy casualties on both sides though. But it was very close to being one of the only Roman victories in this campaign when Attila launched this up. This Balkan offensive. Alright, I'm gonna start saving my ammo. Should I? Nah. Yeah, let's save ammo. Alright, let's go look for targets for my melee cav. Now targets would be would be his sword units. Because I don't want to ramp uh, the spears. That's not very wise. Now I could. Let's let's do this. Let's group these guys. Okay. Problem with grouping, you can't change their width anymore. So let's ungroup them. <clears throat> Alright, got my infantry up here. We're just gonna do some hammer and anvil strikes on him. Because I can. Look at this one unit with one unit in it. That's beautiful. Oh, here, here's a, a sword unit I can take on. Oh, 
Oh shoot, they did not go for the sword unit as I wanted to. See, I told you I'm playing in Windows mode, so it... I was aiming for the sword unit, but it clicked the unit behind. Oops. So I'm probably not going to use face cam that much anymore. He's trying to assassinate Attila. You want Attila? I'll give you Attila. You can see some more uh, Roman units breaking back there. I'm gonna send Attila in to crash into these guys. Oh, I don't even need them. See, without that general, they're they're they don't have the morale that you'd expect for a legendary level. So that's one way to even the odds on legendary mode is to take out that general, take him out, and it's gonna be an even fight. I lost a cavalry unit. That sucks. Kind of. So I'm gonna send this unit crashing into the back of these uh, Lanciarii Senores. Watch out, Senora citizens! You're about to get nailed here. Bam! I should break them. They're shaking, which means they're gonna die. Because as, again, they don't have the the morale anymore. The morale support of the general. Let's get my infantry ready. They're about to get nailed by these dudes. And I'm nailing his some sword units in the back too. And they're about to break. Again, they don't have that the moral support from their general. So again, this is a very methodical destruction of the army. Of the Eastern Romans. Am I losing a unit over there? Oh well. I do intend to use the rest of my horse archers once I kill these guys. Alright guards, you want some Attila action? Give it to you in a second. Oh gosh, he might, he might kill my guys over here. That's fine. Boom! Attila gives you his regards. They're gonna break. Watch me lose Attila, that'd be funny. He'll die a little bit more prematurely than he should have died, historically. So that unit's gonna break too. Haven't lost any use for Attila yet. Still at 28, pretty healthy. So I'm gonna wind up and get ready for a charge on these guys from behind. Skirdii. I want Attila to become my MVP in this battle. So I'm going to give him as much hammer and anvil glory as possible. Right, let's get these guys up here. We're going to target the spears with my horse archers. Horse archer action, guys. I know you guys like it. Oh, they're getting dropped hardcore. Oh, why are they charging? I guess he was out of ammo. Well, that uh, it worked out. <laughs> I don't want him to do that again, though. Well, there you go. First attempt. This guy, this game's history. Let's send Attila to take out these guys. The Eastern Auxilia Palatina. You know, I feel like I should use my archers to do this. That'd be a fitting end, wouldn't it? Oh, if, if they don't die. Let's just shoot him to death. Let's 
Let me pull these guys out. Sorry, I I want to I want to hunt it, kill these guys, kill them the hunt way. There you go. <laughs> beautiful Huns, beautiful. Well, that's gonna be all she wrote. Yeah, this battle was kind of easy, and I I, I was kind of sloppy with it, but yeah, I, I didn't need to be that that great, that flawless with the controls. Stand against the mighty Huns. Onwards to Constantinople. Um, that's I think it's inaccurate. As I said, um, the Hun supplies were really low at this point, so they were on their way back to uh, back to the plains because they didn't have the supplies to carry on the battle to Constantinople. That's why they had turned back already. The enemy is broken. Death and dishonor are theirs today, but only by a single sword stroke. Well, my guys were definitely stroking it. Alright, let's look at the damage. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of dead Romans. And... Oh, unfortunately Attila did not get the most kills, but he got he got quite a bit of kills, and he, he didn't lose a single horse in his in his unit. So, Arne Gisclus, you died the way you're supposed to, so... I would say the uh, the timeline has is going to remain intact here. It was a Hunnic victory in history as well, but in the actual battle, the casualties were extremely heavy on both sides, which I guess you can say... The casualties were pretty extreme on both sides too, but not as extreme as the other way. Like, in the historical battle, I think the casualties were more even, I think. This was a little bit more lopsided. And here, I think the entire Roman army was disintegrated. But um, still, after this battle, it, it still gave caution to Attila because he saw that the Romans could stand up and fight the Huns in the open field. So uh, that gave him caution. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, live commentary. I don't know if you like the face cam or not. It's an experiment. It was a little harder using the the, the playing this on, on Windows mode, like like window screen mode. So I don't know if I'm gonna do this again, but we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys.